Hello, everyone! So we're back again with Shinkenger. Yeah, I finally got Kyoryu Origami. Um, this is actually, unlike the previous Shinkenger mechas I reviewed, this is actually my first time owning it, because I did not ever own Kyoryu Origami before. So I finally got around to getting him. Um, because... My mecha collection kind of felt incomplete without him. And now I need to get Dai Goyo because he's literally the only thing in Shinkendra I want that I'm missing. So I gotta go back and get him. But <laughs> I'll find him eventually. He's not that expensive. But here's Kyori Origami. He was the movie exclusive uh, mecha for Shinkenger. Um, and he, I think he was also in two episodes of the show. Um, so, generally speaking in Sentai, most of the movie mechas are remolds of one of the mechas in the show, right? This is a little bit different. Because he is not a remold of a mecha. He's a remold... Of the Shinken Maru. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why they decided to remold a roleplay item into a mecha, I have no idea. But, yeah, he's a remold of the Shinken Maru. So, <laughs> there you go. I won't be reviewing the Shinken Maru because I don't really collect roleplay items. But, actually, the story, I actually got these in a set. For like a hundred bucks. Whereas this guy by himself usually goes for like 99 to 200. So I was like for a hundred and getting him in the Shinken Maru. Yeah sure why not. And three extra hidden discs. So anyway here is a Kyori Origami. And he looks like Kyori Origami. If you want to use it as the um, Kyori Maru. I don't I don't remember what it's called. He, he doubles as a mecha and a roleplay weapon. So you can still hold him like a like a sword. A really bulky sword, but you can still hold it as a sword. Um, now, if we go right here, he makes noises. Yes, he does. And you hit this button right here. And if you hold down the button, There you go. And then, of course, you can do the spin. I want to, I want, I want to be able, I want you guys to be able to see it. Well, there you go. He makes lots of noises. Now, normally, I don't do this on this channel. Um, I do it on my own channel, but not on this channel, because I've been, um... Exclusive reviewing the Shin Kenji Mechas here. On my channel, I've actually been reviewing the Power Ranger Samurai figures. Um, and normally, I would do these first and then do the Power Rangers version. Problem is, I got the Power Rangers version of this like a month before. So, I'm going to show it here. And here is the Shark Zord from Power Ranger Samurai, the American version. He's a lot smaller. A lot smaller. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's got these fins here, which this one it doesn't have. It's not even in the show. He's a darker... This one's a darker shade of red than this one. Um, this piece just is not there. Um, his mouth is open. His is closed. This is blue. This is more of like a teal. Um, these ports are just non-existent on the Japanese version. This looks more like a tail, whereas this is more of a sword. Um, he can do this. That one can't. So, <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, this one's a lot bigger, a lot more detailed. Um, but admittedly, this one's a little bit more practical, and we'll get to that in a minute. But Kyori Origami um, does have a combination with uh, Shinkeno. Because of course he does. It's the simplest combination. We're just going to remove the sword, remove the helmet. Put the helmet in there, as per usual. Now for this guy, we're going to hit this button back here. That'll remove the legs. 
hit this button and it'll remove these top legs. Pull this handle out. We'll get back to that. Take the two front legs, plug them together. I'll make his really big hat. Put this down right here. Drop that sword in there. Take off. Put And then put this in his hand. And there we have <laughs> Kyoryu Shinkeno. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That is a... Big sword. And I just dropped the shit Ken Maru. Yeah, that's a really, really big sword. I'm gonna elevate the camera a little bit so you can see it a bit better. Move it back a little. Yeah, that's a... That's a huge sword. And to be honest, that's literally... And I mean literally all it can do. Because that sword is too impractical to move. How is this thing with that giant sword going to move at all? We give credit to Power Ranger Samurai for a second. Here's the Shark Attack Megazord. And that sword's a lot more practical. A lot more practical. But to be fair... More practical, this one is more impressive. Um, it's better painted, it looks a lot cooler. And that's probably just because the sword is... It's massive. The sword is absolutely massive. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, so Kiaru Shinkeno is certainly a combination. Uh, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> it's... It's big. There is one other combination this thing can perform. I'm not going to show you the combination to it. But what we are going to cut right here to see the combination. So... So here we have Samurai Ha-O. So essentially, what we're going to do here is this tab was here for Samurai uh, Shinkeno. It's going to go up like that. Plug in the same type of way. And there you go. Kyoryu Samurai Ha-O. I don't know its official name. It wasn't given one. This piece doesn't really go anywhere, so I just kind of put it back here behind uh, Mogu or Ushi Origami's head, and it just kind of vanishes. So, this is the fully complete... All 12 combination that's only ever used once in the series. I don't know why it's only used once in the series, but it's only used once in the series. And again, um, granted, Samurai Haho is already kind of impractical, right? So, and the sword actually does scale with Samurai Haho a lot better than uh, Shin Kenro. And just for one last crap. Uh, for one final comparison, I'll bring in. Oy. I'll move. I'm gonna move the camera over in a second because everything is starting to fall apart on me. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, so trust me. Combining all these figures. Uh, Behind the scenes is a lot of fun. And here he is with um, the Samurai Gigazord with uh, the Shark Sword. So, again, it, it's a lot more practical. But on this mode, the sword feels really small. Whereas here, 
it definitely feels more in scale with a giant samurai warlord. And honestly, it does kind of complete Samurai Ha'o in a lot of ways. Um, yeah, the, the sword is very overcompensating. I won't deny that. We're going to go freehand for the rest of this because these, these are huge. Yeah, it's, it's huge. It's overcompensating for something. But given that he's supposed to be a big Samurai Warlord on his throne, having this giant sword really does fit... That whole um, samurai warlord standing on his throne ready to defeat uh, evil motif he's got going on. And yeah, that's a, that's an issue. Is that the arm does not always stay in the slot on mine. Whereas this guy, yeah, he's got a new sword. But it almost feels like an afterthought here. Like, um, oh, you can do it if you want, but it just doesn't look right. Like, he honestly looks better with the regular sword, because that thing's just tiny. Works for Samurai Megazord, does not work for a Gigazord. This is the opposite problem. Doesn't really work for Samurai, uh, for Shinkano, but really does work pretty well for Samurai Haho. So, it does complete Samurai Haho, and does give him the same number of combination units as G12 formation, so... Yeah. Um, this is gonna be it for combinations for Shinkenger. Um, there is another Mega Daigo-yo. I don't... I will probably get him. I will probably get him. Because he will complete the Shinkenger line, but if you... For combinations, this is it. Um, because Daigo-yo does not combine with this at all. I kind of wish he did. But he doesn't. He does... He can wear the limbs of the, uh, Shinkeno, but... Now we'll talk about that if I ever do Daigo-yo, but... Yeah, this is it for combinations. This is the ultimate samurai ha o Kyoryu big sword of justice combination thing. Yeah, it's um it's neat. It looks cool. I think this version does look a lot better than this version. Um if you want to know my full thoughts on those, check out my channel, Braid Breaker08. I've reviewed all of those guys. But anywho. I want to thank you guys so much for watching all these Kyoryuger, Kyoryuger, Shinkenger reviews. And um, we stick around for more here on the Toy Fandom Toy Box at Anime Secrets. Take care.